to start off with uh, fertility, um, when a woman is ready to conceive, mm. it's nice to come in for acupuncture uh, because there are things we can do to optimize the uh, the the whole body, mm. so the health of the whole body. Um, we really want to have everything, you know, as much in balance as we can, mm. as much um, nourished nourishment as we can. And so sometimes we need to detoxify. And so um, there are things that I, I suggest they do at home, like topical mm. castor oil packs. And mm -hmm. it helps reduce inflammation and, and detoxify the reproductive system. So things like that, if, you know, if they come in to see me at that stage and they, they haven't gotten pregnant yet, um, it's kind of nice to do that. I like mm. doing that and preparing the body. Um, so, so we'll do that. And then of course with acupuncture, um, to stimulate certain areas that help mm -hmm. with that overall. Mm -hmm. Um, and then sometimes herbal support mm -hmm. as well, if they need it. Mm -hmm. Um, sometimes we need to address some imbalances mm -hmm. in the abdominal area. Mm -hmm. So sometimes we see like blockages, mm -hmm. energetic blockages. Mm -hmm. So when I notice that I really try to open them up and get them to be a little more um, connected with the rest of the body. So um, I do a lot of abdominal work mm -hmm. uh, with my hands energetically and then a little massage and then of course the acupuncture needles that mm -hmm. really mm -hmm. stimulates everything and gets it gets it really nice um, and ready to conceive and to, to carry mm -hmm. a baby and to nourish mm -hmm. and um, so then when I have a patient that is, is newly pregnant or mm -hmm. comes and finds me, you know, at a certain stage of their pregnancy, um, there are things that we can do to help anchor the fetus, we say in Chinese medicine, as you know, anchor the fetus and nourish the body and, um, and keep the, the stress level down mm -hmm. for the mom, because that's mm -hmm. really important. Mm -hmm. We don't, we don't want to have much stress when we are trying to grow uh, a baby. Mm -hmm. So, um, that's really important. And then of course we talk about nutrition and, mm -hmm. you know, the, the certain things that they should be incorporating in their diets. Mm -hmm. Um, and some things that they should be cutting out. Mm -hmm. Um, so we talk about all of that and, you know, whether they come in once a week or once a month at the beginning and then, um, towards the third trimester, I do recommend that they they come in sort of mm -hmm. a little more regularly. Um, and I have women of all different, like, you know, stages that, mm -hmm. that come in and, and some come every week throughout their entire pregnancy. And I got to say, they really like, they really benefit the most because they're just, mm -hmm. they're having that weekly reset, mm -hmm. that weekly oh, stress-free mm -hmm. me time, mommy time, which is... <laughs> Which is really important. Um, so, so that's nice. And then in the third trimester, um, we can start towards the end, around thirty-eight weeks, which is where I am. Uh, we can start doing some gentle induction points that mm -hmm. basically help open up the meridians that mm -hmm. go to that area, and. Um, we call it cervical ripening, mm -hmm. so softening the cervix so it can prepare for birth. Mm -hmm. um, and again, just de-stressing the mom. Mm -hmm. And um, and I should mention that throughout the pregnancy, whatever symptoms may arise, whether it's mm -hmm. nausea, um, fatigue, stress, anxiety. Anxiety mm -hmm. is actually a, a common a common symptom of mm -hmm. early pregnancy and late stage pregnancy. Um, oh, interesting. Yeah. It, it can be throughout, mm -hmm. but I think it's more common at the beginning and then towards the end. Oh, okay. Um, the second trimester is kind of like this, like nice sweet little spot. Oh, sweet <laughs> spot. Yeah. It's like they feel great and not everyone, but a lot of them feel like so great and their energy's back and mm. they're feeling good. Mm -hmm. And then third trimester happens. They're like, Oh, like gaining a lot of weight and or it's just kind of like mm -hmm. setting into their body mm -hmm. and uh, and then maybe some anxiety like coming up for 
possibly the labor of birth or possibly just being a new parent Mm -hmm. um, or having another baby, another Mm -hmm. child. Um, So whatever it may be, but it, it is, it is a common thing and we can help with that to kind of settle, settle them, make them feel good again. And then postpartum Mm -hmm. after, after they have the baby uh, it's really important to nourish the mom. So, you know, with birth, we lose a lot of chi and blood. Mm. So um, the loss of chi can come in the form of fatigue, mm. um, just kind of low energy, and your sleep is going to be off for a little bit because you have a newborn. Mm. Um, and so it's it's nice when moms do take the time mm-hmm. to come in and take care of themselves. Mm-hmm. And, um, and then just really nourishing their blood Mm -hmm. so whether they need to be um Mm -hmm. herbs um or just recommending certain dietary Mm -hmm. um foods that they can that they can add in Mm -hmm. that's important um i should also mention that i highly recommend Mm -hmm. placenta encapsulation Mm -hmm. or a tincture Mm -hmm. um because i believe the placenta is a natural way of replenishing all of that Mm -hmm. loss after birth Mm -hmm. and um if we look at different animals um they just ingest their placenta after birth Mm -hmm. and i do believe that it's a way that the body just replenishes Mm -hmm. so um balances hormones Mm -hmm. and builds energy and blood Mm -hmm. and um reduces uh postpartum depression Mm mm-hmm